to a brand new Liverpool Career Mode episode and so Wahuni stays at our team because he's not getting sold at the moment so I will play him in this one and Curtis Jones comes back from his injury so we play the second team because three days from now we are playing a League Cup semi-final second leg where we have to overcome a free goal deficit so that is going to be a mountain to climb Welcome to the FA Cup fourth round game Huddersfield against Liverpool really excited about this I want to win the FA Cup and of course the Premier League and the Champions League so this is a big important game No, surely not Oh my goodness, Carl and Gans, who used to play, I think he plays in real life for West Brom. Uh, he used to play for Huddersfield in real life, now he's still at Huddersfield. He's a 79 rated striker, uh, lucky that he missed it. But Larucci is also fast. How did that player get the ball, go ball past me? And Carl and Gans shot is saved. He back heels it, great block with Suma. And, Oh, come on! Oh, no, no, again. What is going on here? Huddersfield are dominating us. Maybe the second team is not as good as I thought they are. Brewster. Larucci. Back to Brewster. And finally. Go on, Larucci. Come on. Go on a mad run. I need you. And Avani! He hits the post, but then the rebound is put in Taiwo Avani. Maybe, maybe that failed transfer has fired up Avani enough that he can start scoring again. A really, really lucky goal. And because Avani's first shot cannons back of the post, it hits the goalkeeper in the face. And then falls to Avani, tucks in the rebound. Wow, but you, you know how it is with strikers. You need a bit of luck. So it goes in somehow and then hopefully the goals will start flowing for Avani. Oh no. Kabak! Kabak! Come on! I can't believe it's so easy for others to create chances. And it was just a matter of time that they scored. We actually scored against the run of play. Oh man, I, I just... Kabak, I just couldn't get there in time. Just when I get there with Kabak, Pritchard or whoever that guy is, scores. What is happening? Come on. Curtis Jones to Avani. Surely. Nabi, Keita, oh yes, Brewster, it's 2-1 Liverpool, that was absolutely fantastic team play. And I wanted Brewster to get another goal, I, I could have scored with Nabi as well, but Brewster is on course to get to 10 goals. And Nabi Keita, oh that was the com composure by Nabi was brilliant. Go on, to Avoni, and Nabi, to Brewster, Brewster! Oh, what a goal! Oh, yes! <laughs> Ryan Brewster! Absolutely brilliant! He is on fire! And it's 3-1 and we needed a clinical finish from our, our young striker. Brewster is on it a roll and I can't I can say that I the composure that I'm showing in front of goal is what was missing sometimes previously because that ball roll it was fantastic and then the finish no. are you what the earth was that Matip he can't hand the ball clear when the ball is in the air Joao Matip is one of the best headers of the ball and he just mistimes his header or whatever what was the look at it what is that Matip and I mean that is ridiculous and I want to try out one of our youth academy players who have been out on loan he came back from loan and he is now in the squad Lister so let's give him a try Mane Go on Lister I see Sadio Mane and Brewster what a save oh Brewster almost got a hat trick yes guys we are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup but boy did Huddersfield make it up for us they it was a classic cup tie they threw everything but the kitchen sink at us we were under the cosh but in the end in the second half we prevailed I mean look Huddersfield had 
almost twice as much possession as us. Avoni scoring his first goal is brilliant, but Brewster is the story. He now has, I think, 10 goals in all competitions. So it was a brilliant decision to sign him back from Sheffield United. And Naby Keita got two assists as well, which is fantastic. Let's see how the big teams got on in the FA Cup. Tottenham went through and Man City and Everton as well. Chelsea lost to Barnsley, that is amazing. And Leicester, who are gunning for a top four place, lost to Aston Villa as well. And Man United got through against Leeds. So Chelsea and Leicester going out is the big story. Arsenal also got, out, got knocked out in the third round. Jota is our top scorer with 17 goals, which is brilliant. 16 of them coming in the Premier League. Haaland has 11. And now Brewster is our third top scorer alongside Mane. What an amazing season Brewster is having. 10 goals in 21 games. That is brilliant. And I'm looking forward to Salah and Firmino getting back. We are three goals down in the League Cup semi-final. Something that hasn't happened to me before. Man City are already through to the League Cup final. We have a mountain to climb. We lost the first leg 5-2 because I played my second team and I didn't realize Burnley had such a great side. So no messing about. I'm playing my strongest possible lineup right now. Salah is still out injured. So Ryan Brewster starts. Jota plays behind the Brewster because I wanted to have as many great finishers as possible in the side. 5-2 on aggregate to Burnley, so I don't expect us to go through, but let's make it interesting. Let's try and score early and then let's see what happens. One man, the focus of attention, in fantastic form and leading the competition in goals. Welcome to Anfield League Cup semi-final second leg. If there is a team that can overcome a three goal deficit at Anfield, it's Liverpool. Let's harness the magic power of Anfield and the fans. Jota, Haaland, Mane, and Cunha is in! Cunha has to spin it! Yes! Exactly what we needed! An early goal! And we have one goal back! It's 5-3 on aggregate! It's a fantastic build-up! Mane passes it to Cunha and he's never going to miss that! Let's go Liverpool! Come on guys! I believe in us to have a big, big result here! Burnley's goalkeeper is only 73 rated, so I think we can score goals against him! Oh wow, Iha Nacho gets injured very early on. One of the best strikers of Burnley gets injured. I'm not sure who his substitute is, probably Martin Brothwhite, who scored in the, in the previous game, but that is, oh, Henderson takes him down. Haaland and Mane, oh my goodness, Mane. I love that. And Cunha. Haaland, please. Go on, Brewster has to be. Yes! What a play! Oh my goodness, it's 30 off. After 22 minutes, this is dreamland. We still need one more goal and we also need to keep a clean sheet, but this is the best possible start. And look at this passing move and Brewster is left wide open and this is why I put him in the team. He has 87 finishing so he can bury the chances. He's on a roll. No, Jota! Are you kidding me? The referee gives a penalty for that! That is absolutely ludicrous! Oh my goodness, I pressed circle so I can get the ball away from the striker. That is not a penalty! Oh man, of course, of course there is drama. Dalves, where is he going? Ah, oh, he's going to the right, I went to the left. And it's 6-4 on aggregate, we need two more goals. Oh, we need two more goals, this is not going to be easy. The referee just gave a lifeline to Burnley. Jota. And, please Cunha, please Cunha, Cunha! It's 3-1, what is going on? This is absolutely crazy. Come on, get the ball Cunha. Oh my goodness, straight from kickoff, look at the run Cunha is making and Haaland is a perfectly weighted pass, passing to Cunha by Haaland and that is a great finish, the goalkeeper comes out. It's 3-1, we have one more goal to make up, it's 6-5 on aggregate, what a thriller already. Cunha, please, oh, oh my goodness that was almost 4. And Jota. On to Holland. 
And Brewster! Oh, Brewster almost scored another one. Oh, no. Davez. My God! How? Oh, Alisson. Thankfully, the angle was very tight. But Gomez. And Brewster. Brewster is in. And he messes it up. I should have shot. Go, Mane. Mane. Beautiful. minute and Sadio Mane runs out to the Liverpool fans to celebrate we needed this composure and we got it in front of goal when the all the stakes were so high Sadio Mane I had the composure to do a bolo with him and then it, that is an epic finish and it's 6-6 six, six on aggregate so I'm not sure in the League Cup I think there are no wiggles in the palm of our hands a chance to get to the League Cup final Sadio Mane Ref! Oh, but wait! Brewster, please! That's a penalty! That is a stonewall penalty! How is... Ref, what are you watching, game? Come on, that is a penalty! Brewster was about to shoot! And Mane! Mane could be in because he is faster than everyone! And Mane! Hits the ball! No, hits the goalkeeper! So it will be a penalty shootout because it's there is no extra time apparently even in the semi-finals of the League Cup. We should have won this game 5-1 but I'm not complaining after losing the first leg 5-2. I don't... I didn't think honestly that we could come back but now we win the... Yes, Haaland, we go through to the final, That's, that is enough. Delafeu, of course, he goes to the other way. Come on, it's 1-1. One, one. The goalkeeper dived this way, so let's shoot that way. Jota, no! The Burnley keeper saved it. Oh my goodness, and Davez, yes, Alisson! It's still 1-1. One, one. Come on, Cunha, surely the goalkeeper won't dive this way again. Yes, 2-1 Liverpool. Come on, Brathwaite, where will he go? He is chipping it! Are you out of your mind, Raph White? Oh, you absolute fool, you moron. Oh, he was too cocky. Mane, please, Mane. No! Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It's 2-1 still to us. But we can still... Oh, no, it's 2-2. And we have to score this. And Brewster... I'm going with a little bit more power this time. Brewster, yes! 3-2. So, if we save this, or if Burnley wins the penalty somehow, we end up in the League Cup final. The Burnley fans are really nervous. And Pitton, he misses it! What on earth was that? He chips the goalie and the bar and the goal and everything. And we are through to the League Cup final. What a game. What a start to the episode. Look at the Liverpool fans distracting the Burnley player. Pinton, I don't even know who he is. And oh my word. Wow, that must have been heartbreaking for that player to miss the crucial penalty. But Liverpool have a great record in penalty shootouts. And once again, we did it. Look at the Liverpool fans, it's a party atmosphere at Anfield. I told you guys if there is a team who can come back from three goals down, it's Liverpool and we have done it again. We have done the impossible again, even though the referee wasn't with us, he gave a penalty to Burnley, he didn't give a penalty to us. But we still are through to the League Cup final. What an epic semi-final this was. I already showed you the stats. Cunha was the man of the match. I didn't end up making substitutions because I honestly thought it could be extra time. And then this was our best team. So I wanted to keep everyone on the pitch to maybe win it in normal time. So it's confirmed it will be a Liverpool-Manchester City League Cup final. And those are usually great games. I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness. 6-6 six, six on aggregate against Burnley. Burnley. That is absolutely epic. So it will be a Man City Liverpool final. And Brewster sprained his ankle. He's out for four weeks. So the injuries are not easing up. They are coming thick and fast. And I'm. I think now we are a little bit short with with the attacking players. I think signing Mbappe is a little bit too early or too premature, but I will try to trade Taibo Avoni with uh, Ismail Assar because to Ismail Assar with Watford because I think 
Now that Brewster is also out for a month injured, we are just a little bit short. Our only backup attackers right now are Avoni and Harvey Elliott, and I don't like those options too much. I think that's a little bit short. If we get another injury, we will be well short in the, the attacking area. So let's go in and let's try and sign Ismail Lassar. I, I'm sure that you guys would enjoy watching him in this Liverpool carry mode. I've never used him before. So I know that Ismail Assar's value is 50 million, but I, I heard that uh, you also have to offer quite a big transfer fee on top of a player that you want to exchange. And I think Avuni at Watford, who are now a mid-table Premier League club, uh, he would do very well there, and he would play much more regularly than at us. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! They want 70 million plus a 10% sell-on close plus Avuni, so that's 82 million for Ismail Assar. That is a little bit... That is a little bit too much. Let's try. Let's try 60 million plus everything else because that's still that's still too much. You know what? 62 and a half million. We are sitting on almost 400 million pounds. So I don't want this deal to go to fall through. So that, that means that we are selling we are selling Avoni for 12 million. We are paying 60 million. So in total, that's 74 million. So almost 75 million if you count the sell-on close. That's almost 75 million paid for Ismail Assar. And Ismail Assar is 84 rated, but he has lightning quick heels. He also had 85 finishing. So originally, I didn't want to sign Ismail Assar. I wanted to give the likes of Harvey Elliott uh, more playing time. But because Avini is not really good enough at this level, and also because we have so many injuries. I'm thinking maybe in the summer we could sell the likes of Harry Wilson and LaRucci and players that Liverpool sold in real life and we could bring in new players to freshen up this career mode. Ismail Assar is definitely a, a player who freshens up this series. I wanted to sign a forward in this January transfer window but because uh, Daka went to Leicester and Malen went to Dortmund in real life I thought Ismail Assar is the next player in line and we almost signed him when he was at um, at Watford before we signed Dio Jota. So let's offer him 120k weekly wages plus a 1 million signing bonus. Okay, pretty well uh, targeted that. And 15 goals. I think if Ismail Assar is scoring 15 goals, he's having a great season because he will be probably a backup player. So I will actually accept that. I think that's a pretty good goal bonus. So let's shake on that, Ismail Assar. Come on, boy. Let's go. Welcome to Liverpool, Ismail Assar. That is a fantastic transfer. And here he is, Ismail Assar. Welcome to Liverpool, mate. That is a fantastic picture of Assar uh, signing for 75 minutes. Pounds. That is a big transfer fee, but he's a big player and he joins the Premier League champions now, Liverpool, three time Premier League champions in a row. And what a player is my Lassar is. The only weakness is his weak foot. He only has two star weak foot, so, but, but he's, he can play as a striker, he can play as a right midfielder. He has 85 finishing, lightning fast, 95 pace, 8, 90 dribbling, brilliant stats. But thankfully we can improve his weak foot, so straight away I will try and improve his weak, weak foot in this uh, training. And no wonder Arsenal are challenging for the title, they build, built a pretty solid defense, something that has let Arsenal down time and time again, and also they have Myron Poadu, the Dutch young prodigy, I know him pretty well because I used him in my, some of my previous career modes that I played with my friends. Let's go, we have a stacked team as well, and let's try and win this, Ismail Asar is on the bench waiting to come on you dare not turn away when these sides face each other and that's what's going to happen here arsenal against liverpool in north london welcome to the beautiful emirates stadium it's always fun playing in this ground because arsenal usually play attacking football it's an open game with lots of goals no oh come on alison yes good save Clear it! Come on, I can't believe it! We are already 1-0 down! It was the wrong side of Dan Donker, whoever that was, Van Dijk or Gomez. Dan Donker, who used to play for Wolves, of course, but he signed for Arsenal in scary mode. Yeah, it's Van Dijk! How can you be the wrong side of Dan Donker, man? After that, it's... I mean, he's behind him, and that's never good. That was brilliant. Money. And Fakir is in! Nabil, Fakir, please score this! Yes, Fakir! It's 1-1! We are right back in this! 
What a fantastic counter attack! Nabi Fakir you plays because Brewster got injured, so I put Jota up front and Fakir in the attacking midfield position, and he repays the faith that I showed in him by scoring at the Emirates. The Liverpool fans loving it on in the stands. What a finish! Only Nabi Fakir is a second goal in the Premier League. Of course, he's a backup player now, but it just shows what a great squad that we have. That Nabi Fakir is only a backup attacking midfielder at Liverpool to Aaron's. Are you serious? Oh my god! Aaron's, our backup left back, also gets injured. Robertson is our first choice left back, Aaron's is the backup, and now both of them are injured. Uh, I, I delayed the pass a little bit, and that wasn't a good idea. Oh my goodness. So, Neko Williams, he can play at left back, he is coming on for poor Aaron's. I hope it's not a serious injury. Thankfully, Robertson is back in a, in a few days or a week, maybe. Cunha, Haaland, Nabil Fakir, and Jota, have a dig, Jota, oh, he hits the post, so unlucky, to Fakir, Mane, back to Fakir, oh no, Rashic, oh, that could have been a penalty, Barnes, Barnes goes in, and then he goes past Van Dijk and scores, I was distracted because I I think I fouled the Arsenal player. The referee doesn't give a penalty. Maybe I got the ball there. But oh my goodness, that is horrendous defending. I disgraced Van Dijk's name. I'm sorry, Van Dijk. That should have been a clean tackle. But in the end, I just, Farby Barnes just goes past me. And yeah, it was. I lost my head. I lost my cool because I. I mean, how is that not a penalty? But in the previous game, for a nothing challenge, the referee gives a penalty. So I, I just don't understand this game sometimes. Let's bring on Ismail Assar and Nabi Keita. Assar making his debut. Hopefully he can rescue us. I don't want to lose this game. Fakir. Ismail Assar. Nako Williams. He goes in. And Ismail Assar. And Fakir. It's terrible. Oh my goodness. Reese Nelson almost scored a banger. Haaland. Nabi Keita and Ismail Assar. This could be a dream debut for Ismail Assar, but Leno saves it. Where was where was the shot power, dude? Mane. No, Mane, come on, Mane, fight. Fight for the ball. Ismail Assar should have scored on his debut, but he lacked the shot power to go past Leno. And we lose to Arsenal. Man United could pull level if they win their game. It's a devastating defeat, honestly. I'm so annoyed because I had so many chances to at least get a draw, but I was wasteful uh, going forward and defensively I was all over the place. It was not good enough simply. Defensively, we can't let Arsenal score easy goals like their winner, Harvey Barnes. He just went past Van Dijk like he wasn't there because I was controlling Van Dijk. It's not good enough, Tom. You need to be better. I need to practice more. I need to get better defensively. And recently we're losing to Fulham and Arsenal. It's not what you want in the title race. We let Man United back in after we were six points clear after winning gold at Old Trafford. Of course, they beat Sheffield United at, at Old Trafford. Losing to Arsenal proved very, very costly because our four-point lead, which was uh, like a couple of game weeks ago, is now not. We are level on points with Man United. And yes, we have a much better goal difference than them, but one more like uh, loss or, or draw and Man United could overtake us in the title race. Man City's uh, bad form continues, they, they couldn't win in this round, but Arsenal beating us also means that Arsenal are just one point uh, behind us, and now even Everton are just three points off us, so the top five teams are separated by three points, that is crazy close. And it's why Massar already played 25 games uh, for what were the before um, before he signed for us, uh, so I just wanted to show you his stats. I'm lost for words, man. Max Aarons has suffered an ACL injury. He will be out for seven months. That is uh, too much, man. Seven months. If he will be back in August. Yeah, his, his season is over. Max Aarons, unlucky, man. And we already have uh, Trent and Robertson injured. Hoffenheim come in with a loan offer for Ian Lindsay, one of our youth 
gonna be left back. We, we already have like five left backs at the club, so I want to loan some of the youth players out. And I countered their offer for a two year loan deal, they accepted it, so now it's up to Lindsay to accept the loan. So Lindsay has been loaned out to Hoffenheim, that's great news, really happy about that. So Arsenal signed Boadu in this transfer window, which is really, really impressive, but they also sold, sold Martinelli, who is one of their biggest talents, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, Chelsea signed Januzaj, that's a decent transfer. I think our transfer window has been brilliant. I decided not to sign another left back because yes, I know Irons and Robertson are all injured, but we have another few left backs in the, from the youth academy coming through. I want to give them playing time. Man City sold quite a few players, especially Cancelo is a big loss to them and they didn't replace him. So Man City got even weaker. Man United also signed a bunch of young players and they sold Roberto who is probably aging and, and getting old. So that makes sense and Tottenham didn't really sign anybody of note and Divock Origi is back in the Premier League he signed for Wolves who sold Boadu to Arsenal so now Origi is their main striker probably and this is why I didn't want to sign a new left back Andy Robertson is back from his injury that is great news thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later Good night.